Hi and welcome students. In this video I'll be going over Microsoft Publisher 2016 and how to create tables that enter data. Let's get started. So creating a table in Publisher is pretty easy and if you've used Word before and you've entered a table there it's the same exact process. So what you do is you go to the insert tab and you go to the tables group and you click on table. Once you click on table then you have some options of uh, this grid here and choosing how many columns and how many rows you want to do and so a 5 by 8 table would be equivalent to five columns by eight rows and so that's what somebody means if they say enter in a five by eight table. Um, I could click on this and it'll enter in the table five columns eight rows that's one way to do it or another way to do it is to go right here to where it says insert table and this is where you could choose a custom amount of rows and columns so if you don't see anything you want in that grid format you could go over here and say okay I, I want eight rows and five columns and then click OK and you'll get the same thing. Alright, so I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to teach you guys how to input text into these tables. It's a little bit different from something like Microsoft Excel, so if you've used Excel before it's going to take a little bit of tweaking to get it kind of how you want it to go. Um, if you're entering in data and you want to go across the row, it's pretty easy to do. I'm just going to use numbers to kind of show us how to do this and so we'll start with number one right there and let's say I want to move to the uh, column to the right I could press the right arrow and that'll do it or alternatively I could press tab okay either one of those will take me over so uh, right arrow or tab so on and so forth and I'll get to five and I press tab again you guys will see it'll take me down to six okay and I could enter in all these numbers looks good but what happens if I press the right arrow over here it does the same thing. It's going to take you across that uh, column all the way down to the next row. And so right arrow, tab, both of those are good. If you want to go back, you could choose the left arrow or you could do shift tab and that'll take you back to your previous selection. So you could see as I move forward and backwards, I could press tab to move forward, shift tab to move backwards. Now if you want to go, let's say, down the row, okay, and, or down the column, and go one, two, three, four, so on and so forth that way, that one's going to be a little bit different because enter actually moves you um, rather than going down the entire cell, it just moves you down a line on your current cell. So if you've used something like Excel before and you're used to pressing enter to go down, unfortunately enter is going to just create a new line and it's going to keep you in that same cell. So a little bit different, you're going to have to get used to using the arrow keys more on these types of tables in Publisher rather than shift in tab if you're used to that from Excel. But if you have no Excel uh, experience, that's okay. Uh, you just press the arrow keys to move around. Okay, so again, going across the row is going to be tab. Going back across the uh, across the row is going to be uh, shift tab. And so the arrow keys work as well. So that's how we enter data and create tables in Microsoft Publisher 2016. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.